Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will discuss about the certifying officials who can certify your documents for the credential verification. I will also mention what are the documents you need to certify. I also want to mention here, this video particularly applies for the Medical Council of Canada, not for the ECFMD or USMLE. I am making videos both on USMLE and MCC, so if you are planning for the USMLE, this video is not for you. But if you have any interest about Canadian medical licensing exams or immigration to Canada, this video will definitely help you. Now let's get started. As you know, if you want to appear in Canadian licensing exams or you want to immigrate to Canada, the very first step is to verify your credentials. You cannot move forward at all without verifying your documents. The first step is to create an account with physiciansapply.ca and the second step is to send documents to Medical Council of Canada for the verification. I have a full video on how to create an account, send documents. If you have any interest, please click the link in the description below. I am getting so many emails, comments regarding the certifying officials and that is the reason why I am making this video. First of all, what are the documents you need to certify? The first document is Certified Identity Confirmation Form and the other document is your passport. On MCC website, you will find this sample. I also put the link in the description box and I would highly encourage you to check that. Now, who can certify your identity form and your passport? Here you can see a list of certified officials and I particularly want to emphasize on the first option in any country. So the first option you have from your medical school officials. The other options are notary public, lawyers, magistrates or judges. I think the convenient options are notary public or lawyers among all these options, particularly if you are a graduate not in medical school anymore. You can do it from anywhere. You do not necessarily need to go back to your country of origin or country of your medical school. Now if you are new to this channel, my name is Paul. I am posting videos on US and Canadian licensing exams every week. Before further get going, be sure to like this video if you haven't already as it really does help a lot and subscribe with notification on for more USMLE or MCC related videos. If you want to further support this channel, please check out some of the links I put in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. So we were talking about certifying officials and documents need to certify. Now the question is what about other documents such as your medical degree? transcript, internship, or any postgraduate training. Well, you must not certify those documents by any officials. Instead, you need to send those documents to MCC for verification. So what you need to do is to create source verification request or SVR through your physiciansapply.ca account. I also have videos on how to create SVR and send documents through email to MCC. Please check the link in the description box. MCC will send those documents back to your medical school through ECFMG. Your medical school officials will verify and certify those documents based on their official records and mail those documents back to ECFMG. Once your documents are verified, it will be updated in your physiciansapply.ca account. That's how it works. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. And if you have a particular question, please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.